The rally of the U.S. stock market continued last week, albeit with smaller gains. The key U.S. indices hit new all-time highs amid positive earnings reports published by the largest U.S. companies. At the same time, investors are closely monitoring the epidemiological situation, as well as business activity and potential problems on the world markets. For instance, the most pressing ones are geopolitical tensions and the possible tapering of the Fed's bond-buying program in mid-2022. Indeed, it is quite noticeable that market participants are a little nervous today. Will the cautious sentiment prevent US stocks from further growth? Let's discuss it in our video review. The Dow Jones rose only by 110.02, or 0.3%, on Friday, setting the 35th record close in 2021. So the weekly increase was more than 400 points. The index also closed last week at the highest level. This Monday, it closed the fifth trading session in a row at record levels. Now it remains unclear for how long the US major indices will be able to grow. The weak data from China and uncertainty over the Fed's monetary policy are also weighing on the stock market. Probably the index will continue to extend gains for some time. It's likely to trade in the range of 35,200 35,700 points. The S&P 500 reached its 49th record close of the year by gaining 11.71 points in just one day. The index has been climbing for most of the past week. On Friday it fell slightly, however it did not prevent it from returning to 4,460, which was 30 points higher than last week. The reporting season is over, yet the fundamental background for the US stock market is not so positive. That is why the S&P 500 is highly likely to approach 4,480 next week, with a possible correction to 4,440. The Nasdaq Composite shows more than other indices how the stock market is gradually moving away from the highs. Concerns about a slowdown in the US economy led to a decline in the 10-year government bonds yield to 1.25%. The drop occurred even despite the fact that the Wall Street Journal suggested that the Fed may reduce its bond buying program program earlier than expected. Of course, these worries are clearly visible in the behavior of investors. In particular, the Nasdaq index has not been able to hit its weekly highs. Now it's trading at 15,080, which is slightly lower than a week earlier. Experts believe that the index is likely to stay in the range of 15,000 to 15,100 with no prospects for significant growth. Tesla shares fell by more than 4% after the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said it had launched an investigation into Tesla's autopilot system following a series of crashes. The shares of pharmaceutical company Novavax rose by 9.6% amid rumors that most of the developed countries would support booster shots due to the deteriorating epidemiological situation. In general, trading in the stock market is likely to be mixed amid the strengthening of the healthcare, utilities and industry sectors. At the same time, the equity market may decline slightly because of the negative dynamic in the commodity sector. The growth of industrial production and retail sales in China in July slowed down, under shooting analysts' expectations. Industrial output expanded at the slowest pace since September last year. Retail sales hit a six-month low. This data may be a bad omen for the American economy as well. For this reason, analysts are sure that the indices are unlikely to rally for long. Perhaps in a week they will drastically change their trajectory. Sooner or later, everything comes to an end. You've watched Weekly Financial Review on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.